Greetings and blessed day to you once again, people of God. It's the revelator once again. And the hope in the grace and the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ is with you until the end of time. Before we enter into today's presentation, I just want to give you a brief recap of what we covered last time. Some few weeks ago, if not days, we covered the vampire demon part one. And inside the vampire demon part one, I revealed about the bloodthirsty demon, a demon that would ascend from the lower part of hell, from the pit of hell, with the hope to drink the blood of the sinners. Why? Because there was no, not yet any blood that had been found that was perfect as a sacrifice blood that was meant to compensate the sins of mankind explained about the bloodthirsty demon the demon that ascended from the lower parts of hell by virtue of cain having committed not only the sin before god but the sin of murder which spilled blood and that blood needed to be compensated I explained also about the blood sacrifices, how the vampire demon conducted many blood sacrifices on the very same category of the same laws that had been required by God, that blood needed to be spilled before the perfect blood was presented in the New Testament and there was the old blood that was spilled which was the blood of goats and calves in the old testament which represented the second veil which was the second temple before the third and the final temple which was the perfect temple which represented the high priest that was yet to come and i explained in the vampire demon 3 about the bloodline cases the consequences which came with the blood the blood that was spilled by cain i touched on that area in the third category of the blood which was now the third segment where i explained about many cases that transpired when the blood was spilled way before we touched on the perfect sacrifice who then came in the new testament and i explained about the genesis of the blood what was required for the blood that was spilled the blood which was not only represented by the sin offerings that were presented in the old testament but the blood that was then compensated by our lord jesus christ in the new testament and today i want to enter with you into the part four segment of the vampire demon and in the part four segment which is now the part four presentation of the vampire demon i want to enter into what is called the underworld blood wars and inside the underworld blood wars i want to present a dimension that is between the time when jesus is giving up the ghost on the cross there are unfolded events events that remain untold from the time when jesus is being sacrificed on the cross as the perfect sacrifice the perfect sacrifice that had been awaited from the times of old the perfect sacrifice which was a resemblance of the third veil of the temple the third veil of the temple was the significance of the last temple 
which was the temple in which only the perfect high priest would enter as a perfect sacrifice. I remember explaining about the first veil and the second veil, which was the first entrance and the second entrance of the temple. The first which was entered by the high priest and he offered offerings on behalf of the service for the Lord and the service for the Lord and of the Lord and on behalf of the people who had their offerings which I represented and signified as the first temple of the altar and then also described the second category of the temple which is the temple which offerings were done in terms of sacrifices of blood but that blood as i explained it was the blood of cows and it was the blood of bulls and the third veil was yet to be signified by the perfect sacrifice and jesus has come into the new testament and i'm going to take you through the scriptures and the scriptures that i'm going to take you through before i go to the mystery of the underworld blood wars are the scriptures in which jesus is hinting on what is yet to come before he is presented as a sacrifice now let's go to the book of matthew chapter 5 verse 17 and jesus says think not that i'm come to destroy the law or the prophets i'm not come to destroy but to fulfill what jesus had come to fulfill besides the law of the prophets was what the prophets had prophesied about him being the perfect sacrifice and how he was going to be of significance in the new testament as a sacrifice and what role he was going to play as a sacrifice that was perfect so he did not come to abolish the law of the prophets but to fulfill the law in terms of fulfilling the scriptures that had been written by the prophets in matthew chapter 10 verse 28 he says and fear not them which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul but rather fear them which are able to destroy both the soul and the body in hell jesus spoke these words also knowing that there was going to be a dimension in the spirit in which he was going to travel in spirit in which he was going to travel in immortality without the existence of the body during the three-day mystery i remember explaining about the three-day mystery and it was on easter presentation you can look for that presentation it is there on youtube where christ does not ascend and before he ascends he descends down to hell only in immortality and without the physical body and this happened during the three day mystery i'm going to be explaining about it and also reveal the underworld blood wars then in john chapter 2 verse 19 jesus answered and said unto them destroy this temple and in three days i'll raise it up there was a moment when jesus hinted that he was going to destroy the temple in three days and then he rebuilt it and in this version it is saying destroy this temple and in three days i'll raise it up he was not talking about the temple in the physical he was talking about a restructuring certain things that needed to be resolved concerning the temple and that temple was a temple in the spirit yet it was also a mystery that was yet to be 
resolved that was yet to be unfolded in the spirit and also get signified in a physical way let us go to the book of ephesians chapter 4 verse 4 there is one body and one spirit even as you are called in one hope of your calling one lord one faith one baptism the baptism significance is the baptism of being not only immersed in in water not only being dipped in water but a significance of christ descending to the lower parts within three days and during three days to solve the mystery of the third veil of the temple where he was going to go and resolve certain issues in certain matters that needed to be resolved about the temple where he descended to go and fight certain wars as lucifer had matters that he had taken into his hands why because they had not yet been perfect blood and lucifer was holding many souls captives deep down in the underworld why because the perfect blood had not yet been presented therefore there are even souls of the prophets of old and many saints and righteous men whose souls remained captivated by virtue that perfect blood had not yet been spilled and all those that had saved god from the times of old were being held captive why because of certain sins that had not yet been compensated even though they did service for the lord but unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of christ wherefore he said when he ascended up on high he led captivity captive when he led captivity captive he captivated the spirits which were underworld and the spirits that were underworld were both the captives that were being led captive by lucifer the devil and he also led captivity into captive those that captivated meaning that he spoiled the principalities of hell and Hades, he spoiled the giants the demons that are in charge of the underworld and the demons that were in charge of the underworld were the same demons that were held in or holding captives into captivity and holding captivity into captive and holding the captivity of those that had been captivated by virtue of their sins that had not yet been compensated now that he ascended what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth he descended into the lower parts of the earth and what was he doing there like i said he had gone to fight bakers they were underworld blood wars underworld blood wars that represented the blood why because the vampire demon would ascend at every specific point of time to come and consume blood and it would claim a life and it would claim a life that had not yet been saved by the blood that was yet to be spilled and i mean the blood that was yet to be spilled on the cross and that blood which was blood which was yet to be spilled as perfect blood and when all that blood of even the prophets of old had been spilled the vampire demon would come and suck blood the earth would open its mouth and consume all that blood to the underworld and christ is now crucified and why is the christ is crucified the first drops of blood 
they fell upon the earth and they were consumed by the hungry earth and by meaning the hungry earth i'm talking about the mouth of the earth which was the mouth of the blood vampire demon the vampire demon that had consumed the blood that was guilty from the times of old and now the vampire demon has smelt blood that is made of perfect blood a perfect sacrifice of blood that is dropped on the ground and the scriptures say as jesus was crucified in about the ninth hour jesus cried with a loud voice saying eli eli lama sabatani that is to say my god my god why have you forsaken me and at that very hour he was representing the blood of the guilt he was representing mankind and that first blood that dropped on the ground it was smelt by the blood vampire demon the vampire demon that would ascend from the times of old to come and consume blood that was not innocent and this time the blood that is descended to the lower parts of hell is not only descended as blood but is descended as christ who had gone down to the deeper lots to the deeper part of hell to go and fight wars for the saints to go and fight wars for the church to go and fight wars for the saints on behalf of the church on behalf of being the perfect sacrifice and straight away one of them ran and took a sponge and filled it with vinegar and put it on reed and gave him to drink the rest said let be let us see whether elijah will come and save him jesus when he had cried again with a loud voice yielded up the ghost and behold the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom and the earth did quake and the rocks rent which veil rent apart it was the veil of the first temple which signifies the last temple the last temple which was awaited by the prophets of old waiting for the messiah to come so that he would enter and when he entered into the last temple which was the last temple which only awaited the perfect blood his spirit also entered the veil which was torn that very hour when there was darkness here on earth it was the last hour of darkness but also the last hour in which christ yielded his ghost and entered in spirit through the veil of the temple and descended to the lower parts of hell there was a war a blood war in the underworld that manifested and that blood war in the underworld that manifested was between christ and the underworld demons and the blood vampire demon and lucifer himself and jesus went and bound the vampire demon and he delivered the captives out of captivity i've already explained about the captives that were delivered out of captive and behold the veil of the temple was rent in twain from top to the bottom and the earth did quake and the rocks rent and the graves opened at that very hour and the many bodies of the saints which slept arose they were seen bodies of saints that walked in the holy city that walked in jerusalem that very hour why because these were spirits that had been subjected in the underworld why because the messiah had not yet come now that the messiah had come he went down and arrested the vampire demon and bound him and stopped him from the imprisonment of the lost souls and the souls that had been subjected 
which included even the souls of the righteous men and the souls of the prophets. And Jesus, during those three days, he delivered the captives, which are the righteous men, out of bondage, and they were even seen. And the miracles that were seen of the graves that it did open were indeed the spirits of those that had departed from this realm those that were existing in another dimension of hell and Hades, another dimension where lucifer would take souls of those that were not yet born again and he would imprison them in the lower parts of earth and he came out of the graves after his resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared and appeared unto many now when the centurion and they that were with him watching this and saw the earthquakes and those things that were happening they feared greatly saying truly this was the son of god child of god i'm here to present the fourth segment of the blood wars the underworld blood wars underneath the earth which transpired the wars that were unseen on this physical realm the wars that were transpiring within the three days when jesus descended to the lower parts of the earth which are the lower parts of hell where he went and defeated the vampire demon the vampire blood demon and defeated on behalf of the church i'm praying that your blood is also saved in this very presentation i'm praying that your blood is saved by the perfect blood the blood that is already spilled the blood that was signified to save us the blood that defeated the vampire demon in the name of jesus